was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony! How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? If the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't gonna patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron! What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. We're recyclers, dammit. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep. We're vultures. What was that? Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right. Not bad. Let's start with that one. It's not a Geo Crystal, you idiot! It's a corpse! Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's eh, no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron! What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> My ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse! <laughs> You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening! It... Uh, it's a realian. Or a cyborg. Something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh... <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh! Uh, <clears throat> so, is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this mess, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to Second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh, yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, Second Milsha? Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. 
We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. A punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. <laughs> One more strike and this window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Ah, okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. Uh, she's got us, Red. Shut up. <laughs> 